Hi, I'm Matt Sargent with ABC Acres here in Hamilton, Montana. We're out here today in our greenhouse. We recently had a request to do a follow-up uh, about our video, The Permaculture Greenhouse. In case you haven't seen that, you should check that out for a little bit of background. But before I get into what we have found about the um, greenhouse, let's take a quick look at some of what's going on in the greenhouse. All right, so it's May 2nd today. It's early May. You can see it's very green and vibrant in here. It's only gonna be getting greener. We have found that with the combination of the passive solar heating, the geothermal, and the climate battery, that this is a great greenhouse, and it's great for production. If you saw those cucumbers, they're almost to the ceiling. It's time to start feeding some slack out of their trellises, the roller hooks are on. Those are all being grown in our self-watering buckets you should check that video out too because they are doing awesome um, we've already harvested cucumbers we harvested cucumbers in late april which is kind of unheard of in montana granted we are in a heated greenhouse but it's still something that we're really excited about this winter we harvested five lemons uh, our first five lemons off of our lemon tree so the greenhouse is functioning the way we want it um, we have noticed that we do have to make sure that we are cognizant and paying attention to the controls of the climate battery and especially our exhaust fan in the ceiling, especially this time of year when things start warming up. If we don't have that exhaust fan set right to start venting heat out above X degrees, currently we have it set at about 85, 90. It'll get really hot in here real quick, actually too hot and scorch most of our plants, especially now since we're starting a lot of stuff in here to transplant out into our unheated greenhouses, our high tunnels, or into the garden. Um, some of those tender plants we have found with trial and error, mostly error, which is a great educator um, that we can scorch, especially seedlings in here. However, in the winter months, especially if we get a few days of sun to recharge that climate battery and put some heat underground to store to release at night that the temperatures stay in the 40s to 50s without our infrared heater having to turn on. Um, other issues we have encountered is it can be a low humidity, humidity environment in here. Go figure, we're in Montana. It's arid here. So we're hoping that as more and more trees take root in here, we've added five more citrus trees. We've got some fig trees, some guava, and some pomegranate on the way. I know they're all gonna excel in here, but as we have more evapotranspiration happening, that, that should help boost the humidity, um, which will be beneficial to everything in here. We've also added some living mulches. Um, check out my video about magic mulch. Um, as well as some living mulches in the plant form of plants. And that's been helping greatly. The sun hemp is just thriving in here. It's really suppressing any weed that might, weed seeds that might have come in with compost, etc. cetera. Um, but with the green up, you can walk in now and it's almost like getting hit with a wall of humidity. For those of you who live in the South, you know that feeling when you leave your house early in the morning it's nice and cool and dry in your house and you walk out the door and get punched by that uh, humidity. We're starting to create that in here. Um, in the future, more than likely, in the center area where you saw our grow racks, we're gonna be adding some aquaponics systems and that will really help with the humidity. And then hopefully with some higher humidity levels, a lot of plants in here, we'll be able to revisit growing some tropical oyster mushrooms in here because we have the temperature we're just lacking humidity. That's it. That's our basic recap of the uh, greenhouse. So as always, thanks for joining us. And until next time, happy growing.